been waiting for this for a very long time. We've been juggling our itineraries, working the phones and been very, very patient to get our hands on this great car. And now finally, thanks to one very generous owner, we have the car. But then the question was, do we have a road great enough for it? But I think going by what we've got here, I think the combination of great car, great road shall be a special one once more. And this is it. Audi supercar, the R8. So why the R8? Well, quite simply, it was Audi's first modern supercar and a really good one. All the more so when you consider it was built off the Lamborghini Gallardo, which is a very temperamental supercar. And they turned it into this, something so Teutonic, something almost unemotional, but yet so precise. But when you drive it hard, you know the R8 can make your spine tingle. And the LMX, it is the R8 that's walking the first generation into the sunset. So it is the most extreme R8 till date. It's got the most horsepower, it's got the most acceleration, and clearly, going by these seats and the way the suspension feels, this car is meant to be on a racetrack. But Dipya Lok Patnaik, the very generous owner of this R8 LMX, doesn't live in Chennai, Coimbatore, or Delhi. He lives in Orissa far away from any racetrack. So we found ourselves amidst almost murderous traffic and the thought of driving a 3 crore rupee supercar through that traffic was worrying me a fair bit. Okay, I had no clue where we would take the R8 around Bhubaneswar. We had some general idea and nothing was looking good. But then almost as though it was a blessing from above, we found this road right between the Sun Temple in Konark and the Jagannath Temple in Puri. There is a new elevated road that spears off from NH203, just 6 kilometers before Puri. It's called the Malatipura Konark Road. And this makes getting to the Great Road an absolute breeze. And when you get there, what you get is a treat. This 30 kilometer stretch of tarmac is nice and wide. It's got Plenty of straight stretches, a few nice winding sections as well. And well, the surface is a bit lumpy, but on the whole, the tarmac itself is smooth. So yes, you can use the R8 here. And the LMX was more than ready. But I was feeling my way around it, getting to terms with its specialness. After all, it has a racetrack-oriented, non-adjustable suspension. It has extra winglets on its front bumper and a larger wing at the rear. These aren't there just to look pretty. Now going through these faster corners here, you can feel the extra bits that the LMX has. Man, it has so much grip. And that steering is just so precise. Woo. <laughs> you, you can't push it without getting frightened. You enjoy every little bit of it. This is really an accessible supercar in so many ways. Now, yes, the ride quality is stiff, but even considering how bumpy the tarmac is, it's doing a pretty good job of soaking it all up. I thought it would crash at times, but nope. The R8, even this extreme LMX, makes you feel comfy with 562 bhp double quick. And on this road, it was easier still to get to the heart of it. I know people have called the R8 a little too clinical, but... I'm sorry, it might not have the same kind of Italian emotion, but when you drive it fast, I think it feels pretty darn special. And it can feel even more special. You just have to ask. And of course, on the LMX, you have the sport mode. Well, it certainly feels faster, I'm sure it's faster, but what it really does is make it feel really good behind the wheel. sounds better. The LMX was working its magic beautifully. I might have trouble giving this car back to the owner. I might have trouble leaving this road as well. Unless I'm right with the racetrack. I prayed hard as I ran up and down between Konark and Puri. 
hoping the gods would pay heed to my prayers. But I knew that for now, I had to settle. Oh man, what, what a car. What a way to walk off. Laudi, of course, you've signed off the R8 first gen. The second gen is around the corner. Best of luck living up to this. And you can be sure we'll find a pretty good road for that as well.